What's up YouTube, Farmer G here. I'm gonna to touch on a lot of things today in this video. Um, we're gonna go into way more depth on this as the season goes, but I just wanna kind of go over a few things and just kind of bring up to speed on what's happening right now. Um, in the garden here, we've got, uh, this is my, my row with garlic, and I planted Brussels sprouts down here. And these have been in here, I don't know, maybe 10 days at this point, and I've already been robbed. Um, I don't know what it is that's doing this to me, if it's a bird, if it's a ground squirrel, I don't know. Um, my dog is out here catching anything that moves around the garden. Honestly, I'm kind of leaning towards it being birds, because I've seen a number of birds out here flying away whenever I come out here. So my Brussels sprouts right here, pretty much it's, it's, a, it's a lost cause, these are gone. Um, so really, you know, I kind of came to this conclusion last year that when it comes to peppers and some of my cold crops, I'm kind of at the point where I'm giving up on them in, as far as growing them outside in the garden. Um, especially after this. This is just kind of, it's disheartening. Um, I do have some broccoli that's doing okay, kind of, but it's taking some hits as well. Right here. I mean... I don't know what's doing that, but they're all they're all jacked up, every one of them. So, even the ones that are doing good still got a couple of dings on them. So, that's where I'm at with this. Um, but I'm gonna make some changes. So, it's not all lost cause here. Um, this row here, I've got tomatillos, and then I've got peppers. And the same thing with the peppers last year. I, I fought bugs so bad last year that I didn't even, like, I just let so much peppers just go to, just rot and go to waste because the amount of bugs that I was fighting was just insurmountable. Um, this year, my scheduling is kind of different, so I'm hoping that my employment is a little different this year so I'm hoping that I have the time to fight bugs out here if I need to so I'm just kind of moving forward with like I'm not expecting much but I'm gonna put my best foot forward fighting it but if it's a lost cause it's a lost cause I'm not gonna lose any sweat over it so we'll see how the peppers go but I'm gonna change I'm making some changes with peppers as well so let's go into the greenhouse and I'll show you guys what the plans are here for that. Okay, before we step into the greenhouse, I wanna show you guys this here. All kinds of pots. I was uh, scrolling through Facebook Marketplace the other day and I came across a screaming deal. Some people down the hill um, ends up being a landscaper and he takes all his pots and he resells them after he does a job. And uh, anyway, it's a good connection. I'm glad I found him. I got a pretty good deal on all this stuff. And I plan on using a lot of this for potting inside the greenhouse if I sell some I'm not gonna it's not gonna hurt me because I will definitely make my money back on these and I can sell a lot more plants at a much higher price compared to the pots that I have been using all right so these little guys these little guys are the pots that, that I have been using I got these on Amazon um, you know they're roughly costing me 14 to 17 cents a piece the pots that I bought out there on the outside of the greenhouse those ran me um, anywhere from 20 to 50 cents. But what they do is they're gonna give me the ability to sell plants at a much higher price than what I am selling. I'm pretty much selling everything two for five. Um, but once I put bigger containers in, I can let the plants go a lot bigger, I can sell them for twice as much. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, as far as the greenhouse goes, really what I've got going on here, this is kind of my inventory. Doesn't look like a whole lot, but it's a fair amount of stuff here. So this is pretty much what I've got left that I'm gonna try and sell. If I sell it, great. If I don't, it's going in the garden. Either way, it's, it's gonna bring me some kind of return. Like I said, I'm like done with pretty much doing the cold crops outside. And my cauliflower and my broccoli, I gotta do something with it because they are definitely starting to get root bound and I'm kinda past the point where I can really sell them. I've got a few of them here that I'm gonna take out one more time if they can if they still look good in, the, in another seven days I'll take these this tray out but otherwise 
I'm pretty much calling it quits on that. So what I've started doing is uh, I'm going crazy on the potting inside the greenhouse. I want to see what I can do in here, how much I can control everything, and what I can really grow in here. Because I haven't really done the potting, the pots inside the greenhouse before. Um, this is all just broccoli. I have all broccoli. A lot of broccoli in here. Um, and I've realized here that I'm at a point to where I can do some consolidating. So next clip here, I'm going to, I got to deal with kids here, but next clip, probably be tonight, I'm going to get rid of this shelving here consolidate all this stuff to that shelf right there. That's going to open me up over here so that I can add a bunch more pots and get cauliflower, some more broccoli because I still got some more broccoli to do and um, and I want to start getting peppers in here. I'll start getting some peppers and pots and see how well I can grow them in the greenhouse. Uh, something else I want to touch on here. Last video of my aquaponics system. I cleaned it up Totally wiped out this bed, took out all the water, um, got rid of all the plants in here because I had aphids and you can see uh, talking about it before but I got rid of all my plants, threw them outside, let everything dry up but now I'm, I'm starting to slowly restock of this aquaponics bed. My water is looking better, it's still not great. I'm going to be doing some daily water changes on my filter for a couple of days and then this will be crystal clear again. Okay, YouTube, I gotta make this quick. I'm running out of flashlight and I'm running out of battery. Um, it is 12.30. I've been out here since like 10 o'clock. I have got that shelf moved. I've been organizing stuff. Um, I got my shop vac. I cleaned the floor. I took everything that I had on that shelf and placed it on this shelf here. So I did some consolidating. Um, and I know how this looks. Cleaning and organizing at 10 to midnight plus at night. I know how this looks, but for the record, I am 100% clean and sober. This is just what keeps me sane these days. So over here I've got some cayenne long thins, and over here, I, I'm pretty sure those are purple cauliflower. Those got, the purple cauliflower, if that's what they are, they got misplaced at one point, and I didn't have them marked, so I couldn't sell them, so I'm not 100% sure what those are, but that's my guess on those. And um, anyway, for documentation purposes as well, um, Another thing I did here tonight was I, these are all butter crunch lettuce, so I got those transplanted. I've got some bok choy over here that I did the other night. I've got red Russian kale right here, and this is a regular old kale that I planted in here like a year ago. That's been going for like a year in the aquaponics system. That thing's still thriving. Um, one other thing is this aquaponics, not aquaponics, this hydroponic system here. I've been debating whether or not to keep this, um, but seeing as where I am with everything I'm just overwhelmed with kale and lettuce and just so many other things I think I was debating whether I should keep it or not but I think I'm, I'm gonna get this up and running here in a few days because there's just so much that I, I've got and I'll, I'll put something small in there and get that running in a few days anyway guys um, I'm running out of light and running out of battery it's time for me to go if you made it this far I appreciate the view thanks for hanging with me I'll see you soon later